Hello guys, welcome to the program language for the beginner videos. In this video, we'll be looking at class and structures. Class and structure they enable us to build our own custom type that encapsulate data. In, in structure and class, we can define the properties and method and method to add functionality to our class. And in this video, we will be looking at how we can define our classes and also structure. We'll look at creating an instance of a class. We will look at how we can assess properties and method in a class. Without further ado, let's move into our S code. Now in S code, we are going to start with structs. How do we define a struct? So to define a struct, we will, what we'll do is we use the keyword struct. And we give it a name, any name. So we can call this some struct. Struct. And then we introduce our curly braces. And then we can put some properties and method inside, and also an initializer. For this, for example, I can just put a let me just put a property. Let me call this property of type constant. Let me call this let of name. Let's assign it to my name, Sunji. So with this, now we define a custom struct that we can use. Now let's look at how we can define a class. To define a class, we use the keyword class. And we can also call this some class. This could be any name, depending on what you want us to achieve. And then I'm going to give this another property. Let me call this var of age. Let me assign it. Let me assign this so I can avoid initializing this. So assign this to 40. Now we define our classes and structure. Now, how do we create an instance of these classes? That's how do we instantiate these classes and structure. To instantiate a structure, for example, what we do is this. Let me assign this to a variable, a constant. Let's say let some structs, all lowercase, be assigned to some struct and let's so now we create an instance of that so i cannot print this to the console i can say print this is some struct then let's call the properties, the store property which we declared. And then let's see what we have on our console. Now we can see that we now have my name, which is Sunji. Now, how do we create an instance of the class? So create an instance of the class is really similar to this. Let me call, let's create a constant. Let's call this some class. And let's assign it to some class. With this, we've created an instance of this class. And to create, now to print, let's let's print this to the console and see what we have. Print, say some class, then call the properties, which we should have on it. So let's run this again to see what we have. Now we can also we have 40 and 80. Now one thing I've not said is struct has this proper has this feature of member wise initializer. So for example, if I don't initialize this, I don't have to declare a, 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 an initializer explicitly. So let me remove this my name. Let me not initialize this. Then it's going to require me to, to pass to initialize it when creating an instance of that class, uh, of that struct. So if I create, I don't put name. And then assign it. So here now I can now declare the name again. Let me use my name. So if you print this to the console, we should see our same thing. But you can see that we don't we didn't actually declare any custom initializer in this. Okay, sorry, we have an error. Okay. Oh sorry. I'm supposed to declare the type of this. So let me click the type since I didn't assign it. So now 
we now have my name printed in the console like we have before. So to call it to in order to assess properties and method in of a class, what we do is that we we call the we we'll, we'll, we'll call the that property the variable we declare for that property or constant. Then we use the dot the full stop the dot operator and then we we'll call the name of that property whether it's property or method. So for this class, for example, let me declare let me declare a simple class that return nothing. Let's say func the method. Sorry. Let's say let me call this message. So this this method takes in nothing and return nothing. So I'm just going to print to the console. Let's say print some message. So now to call this method to assess that method on this instance of class which we have created, what we need to do is this: we are going to now say, okay, let me. I'm going to have this some class dot message, and then we introduce our braces. So let's run this and see what we have. So we can see now have some messages on some message on the to the console. The console. Now let's now look at the type of Structs and class. So for struct, struct is a value type. What I'm simply implies is that whenever we create a copy, a, we copy a struct, it's going to create a different copy of it. Why class are reference type? References means that once you change a particular variable in a, instead of it, it's, instead of once we copy it, sorry, once we copy it, if we, if we, we are creating a reference to that. That, that variable in memory. So we are not creating a new one or copying a new one like what happened with the structs. So let's see this for the class. So now we declare the class. Let me create another class. Let me say, let me declare another constant. Let me just say some class two. Right now I assign this class to the class which we created earlier. So some class. So now if I change, let me change this age. Let me change the age variable. Let me change the age on this some class two. And see, the expectation is that both class one and class two now supposed to have the same age. And that's because we are pointing to the, we are using it, we are pointing to a reference on that in the memory of that particular, for that particular um, properties. So let me say age. Let me, let me assign this to okay. So this is 40, okay, it's 49, whatever. So let me run this and see what we have. So, okay, sorry, let me introduce two years that can also see it. So you can see it's also 49. So basically, class are reference type. So guys, this is the end, the end of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like button, share. See you in the next video.